2012. That's when I think, like, the levels to your career are crazy because they just get bigger and bigger. But Thank you. 2012 was especially big because you hooked up with... Uh, just to put in perspective, Yo Yo Honey Singh at that time, I think arguably one of the biggest Indian stars in the yeah. world at that yeah. time. Yeah. Um, tell me about that. Like, you go to India. How do you meet him? How do you guys get into the studio together? What What happened there? I just want to say, yeah, I think Honey Singh still today is the biggest star in India. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't yeah. care who's coming out. Uh -huh. I've seen it, man, firsthand. He's the biggest star in India. Really? There hasn't been that kind of craze ever bro like you mean just people attracted to him like he's created a culture in India uh -huh. yeah and that's insane bro he's in people short short but like they, they know like wearing a hat if you're wearing a hat yo 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 honey sing that's how it is in India it's just he became yeah. a culture yeah. wow. and he always will be the biggest artist for yeah. me I'm not saying that because I've worked with him yeah I'm just saying it because of observation and what I've seen in India man that's so dope. big respect to him and he changed the game in India Holy and, yeah man but um yeah how do I hook up with him bro at that point I was working on and hold on, do you call him Yo-Yo or do you call him Honey? I just call him Honey. <laughs> yeah, call him honey. <laughs> I just call him Honey. I can't call him, can't call him yo, yo I just call him Honey. Innit? <laughs> but, um, but how do I link up with him? I basically just called, picked the phone and rang his manager. I was just like, like that? Just like that. I you were in India? I found his, I found his number. Uh -huh. I was like, yo, um, I'm, in, I'm from the UK. I'm a singer. You probably haven't heard any of my songs. But at that point, it's, uh, I had obviously Take Kewali and all the other songs out. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I was like, I'm working on my album. I've got Zeus on my album. I've got this guy on my album. I've got this guy on my album. And I want you to be on it. I want Honey to be on it as well. Because Lock 28 came out then. Oh, yeah. And that beat was sick. Yeah. yeah. I love the beat. Um, the song itself, I wasn't a crazy fan about on, on the song. Crazy fan on the song, yeah. But the beat was sick. The vibe was sick. Mm -hmm. Had energy. And and then after about two weeks, like I got a voice a voicemail on my phone. And I'm like, I missed the call. And he was honey. He was like, he sang to his Sadijin Sadijan. No you way. Say, yeah, he was like, yo, I'm a fan of that song, bro. Ring me, let's, let's work. Uh -huh. And then um, I flew out to India. And to be honest, I didn't know how big he was. Like, because I, I didn't really follow his career in India. He was, he was at that point. And social media wasn't that big. I don't yeah, think it wasn't that either. big. Yeah. But he was big in India. Like, uh -huh. I just, I met him. I was like, yo, he's a cool dude, man. Like, he's, he's quite cool. Yeah. Isn't he? He's like a young guy. He's cool. He's got good energy. And I this thought, is yeah. in Mumbai. You like, met him in Chandigarh. In Chandigarh. Yeah, okay. and he's like, had like a crew. Like, Barcha was with him then as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. J Star was with him. Alfaz. Uh -huh. And all the boys were with him. So it's like a cool young vibe. I was like, this is like England, bro. This yeah. Is sick. Sick. <laughs> this is a sick vibe. Uh -huh. And um, um, we got in to a studio, uh, made a couple of vibes. They didn't really work out. I remember at one point, Honey called me like at four o'clock in the morning. Bro, he texts me, I've got the song, I've got the song, man. I've got it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool, man. I was like, super excited. Drove down to Chandigarh. And, um, at four in the morning, you got no, it? Oh. No, I, I saw the text message. Oh, okay. I drove down the next day. Yeah. I linked him <laughs> and I was like, yo, um, let's hear the song. And he paid me. I was just, just sitting there thinking. Bro, I don't like the song, man. Yeah. It's a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> the song's a bit shit. And he's like, nah, nah, bro, this is a revolution. This is going to be crazy. He's got crazy energy in the studio. I was like, bro, nah, 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 it isn't the, it isn't the one. And he could just sing it. And I sang this other song. I'm not going to say what. It was a song called Baby This, Baby That. Yeah. It was called, yeah. Sang that. There's another song I sang as well. And uh, I wasn't feeling any of them, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, his, at that point, his album had just come out as well. So I saw the craze, obviously, around him as well. So he was like, on his high horse. And I was like, nah, man, it's not working. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the songs ain't working. So I just, I left and went back to the UK. I said, we'll work it out. We'll see what happens. That's kind of crazy to somebody who's at that level and he's like, no, do this, do this. And you're just like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good, you know? Yeah, that's good, man. That's a, just stick to your guns. Because most guys that would want to get on would be like, you know what, let me just do it. Yeah. If he's saying, I didn't want to do that. Because when I met Honey, the first thing I said to him was, I want a bigger song than Luck 28, bro. You told him that. Yeah. I told him that straight. Uh -huh. I got. I want a bigger song than that. Yeah. It needs to be bigger than that, because that was that for me. That was his the benchmark of what Honey Singh can do. It needs to be better than that. Yeah. It has to be, uh -huh. and that's what happened. I'm not bigging my own song up. No, it's yeah. actually what happened. Yeah, yeah, it became the biggest song that one of the Arguably biggest songs. One of the biggest songs that both of you have ever yeah. done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, sure. man. That's amazing. So and then from there, I went back to the UK. Um, I didn't hear from him for like two, three months, and then rang me and he's like, "Yo, I got this song." We were in Toronto. You were in Toronto. We had a show in oh, Toronto. No oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a show in Toronto. Uh -huh. sure. And Suki, my manager, was with me as well. Yeah. And I was like, "Yo, I got this song, yeah, but it's it's dope, but the melody's copied, man." 
Like she was like, what other like? Jab bhi koi ladki dekho, mera dil diwana bolle, bolle, bolle. Yeah, I never uh, realized. That. I never realized that till right now. <laughs> oh fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> the secret's out. Oh shit, you can't set the back. Oh, I was like, yo, it's copy. She's like, yeah, but it's it's catchy, man. It's so catchy. Like, you reckon she do it? So yeah, yeah, do it, man, do it. Yeah. Went back to the UK. Um, did the vocal, sent the vocal, and then I had this. Um, set up in my yard I remember he sent it and I had this like I had my Mac set up my Fostex PM1s remember the PM1s yeah, yeah? yeah had the PM1 set up and he sent it over and I was like you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check it out put it on there I was like yo this sound, the horn sound is dope so my dad get that TK dad he was like oh, <laughs> 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 like, yeah 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 oh, listen to it I said yeah it's quite sick man let's do it so we just roll with it and then from that, it's basically just history. That's yeah. so crazy. That's that crazy. That people really is dope, yeah. yo. Your dad yeah. is right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And then, yeah. uh, so you, you go to UK, uh, India to, to record with him? Um, oh, that was another story, bro. <laughs> so many stories. No, no, we need that story. I can tell we you the stories that. all night, bro. No, we need yeah. them, man. So what happened was, um, we, we locked the video shoot off. Uh-huh. Um, but there's no rap for the song. So, and Honey's just super busy gigging. His manager's not picking up my phone. I just landed on his doorstep, locked on his door. I go, bro, you need to, f- you need to call Honey right now. We need to finish the rap today. <laughs> We're shooting the video in three days. Uh-huh. So I literally flew to India. I met Honey. I drove to Delhi from Chandigarh, recorded the rap, came back to Chandigarh for a day, and then I flew back to the UK. And they flew out the day after we shoot the video. That's God crazy. damn. Yeah. Man, give this guy a round of applause, man, for yeah, making man. shit happen. <laughs> go, yeah, go into the guy's door, eh? That's it.